As the leader of the United States, you were the most powerful man in the world. As you mentioned, not only the most famous, but the most powerful. And if you become leader again, you will have unprecedented power. Just on your own personal psychology, what does that power do to you? Does it, is there any threat of it corrupting how you see the world? No, I don't think so. Look, I've, I've been there for four years. Uh, I could have done a big number on Hillary Clinton. I thought it looked terrible to take the president's wife and put her in prison. She's so lucky. I didn't do anything. She's so lucky. Hillary is a lucky woman because I had a lot of people pushing me to, they wanted to, they wanted to see something, but I had, I, I could have done something very bad. I thought it looked so bad. Think of it. You have the president of the United States and you also had secretary of state, right? She was, but you're going to put the president's wife in prison. And yet when I got out there, you know, they have all these hoaxes, they're all hoaxes, but they have all these dishonest hoaxes, just like they did in the past with Russia, Russia, Russia. That was a hoax. Uh, the 51 different, uh, you know, agencies or agents, that was a hoax. The whole thing was a hoax. The whole, there were so many hoaxes and scams. And, but I didn't want to put her in jail. And I didn't. And I explained it to people. You know, they say, lock her up, lock her up. It does it, we won. I said, we don't want to put her in jail. We want to bring the country together. I want to bring the country together. You don't bring the country together by putting her in jail. But then when I got out, you know, they went to work on me. It's it's amazing. And uh, they suffer from massive Trump derangement syndrome, TDS. And I don't know if it's curable from their standpoint. 